Hello, I'm Robbie, along with Dan. We're the owners of Casting for Growth. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to brew a 50-gallon batch of worm castings that can treat up to 10 acres of plant life for only $2 per acre. This size brew is perfect for golf course professionals, managers of athletic fields, farmers, landscape professionals, and anyone else who has more than an acre of plant life to maintain. These are the materials required to brew that batch of worm tea. The most important piece is the casting for growth aerator. And this unit is made of heavy duty PVC, which guarantees a lifetime of structural integrity. The aerator is made to fit inside a standard 55 gallon drum, and it covers the entire bottom to ensure air is properly distributed for microbial life. No tools or glue are required. Simply screw together the two connection points and you're ready to go. You'll also need a 30 pound bag of casting for growth worm castings, a 12 ounce jar of unsulfured molasses. This is a common size sold in most grocery stores. You need an oilless air compressor capable of supplying at least three cubic feet of air per minute and an air hose to connect the air compressor to the casting for growth aerator. You'll also need two short lengths of bungee cord, and a 400 micron filter for when the tea's finished brewing so you can transfer it to your sprayer without getting any particles. And finally, you need the 55 gallon drum. To begin brewing, place the brewing container out of direct sunlight as the UV rays will harm the microbial light. Then you want to fill the container with clean, unchlorinated water, leaving about eight inches of room at the top for the foam head that will form. If only chlorinated water is available, it is important to aerate with your compressor 30 minutes up to off-gas the chlorine prior to applying your casting. Next, you place your aerator assembly in the container or the, the drum and hook the bungee cords to either side to lock it to the bottom once the air is applied. And when the, the aerator is held steady and will do a good job at creating turbulence for the casting. Now connect the oilless air compressor to the air fitting at the top of the aerator pole, shown in the back, sort of here. The air will transfer down and the bubbles start instantly. The aerator is extremely tough, will not be harmed if your pressures go higher than PSI, than 20 PSI, but 15 to 20 are what's recommended. If you need unchlorinated water and you've already off-gassed this, you can pull your stuff right from here for the mixing of the molasses. So pour the dissolved molasses into the brewer. You put it in a container first, stirring it well, pour it around the bubbles, and then begin to flow pour the castings out of the, in this example, the 30 pound bag. While the air compressor is running, pour it around the top bubbling surface. Now it's best if you see large chunks to break them up keeping the particles small so that they'll stay easier in suspension. During the brew cycle, a foam head will appear on the brew as seen here. This foam head is a positive sign of the multiplying microbial life. The brewing process should take no longer than 24 hours, assuming temperatures above 70 degrees. Lower temperatures will slow down the process. The brew must be distributed to your plants within two hours after disconnecting from the air supply. Our Casting for Growth aerator contains instructions that include how to identify a questionable batch of tea, methods of application, including when best to spray, how to clean the brew kit and why cleaning is important, how often to apply the worm tea, and what to do with the castings that remain. With worm castings in worm tea, you can't grow it better. And you can't purchase chemicals as economical and as environmentally friendly as castings. Visit our site today, order the Casting for Growth aerator, and make a real difference in your budget and the growing success of the acres of grass and plant life you're maintaining. We look forward to being of service to you and encourage you to contact us with any questions you may have.